Good morning, ladies. I'm here to speak to you today about uh, the upcoming election on November 2nd, 2010. I'm Mayor Anna Little from the Borough of Highlands, and I'm running for Congress in Congressional District 6. I wanted to reach out to you ladies because we are the leaders in our homes, and often we're the leaders in our workplace, and I believe it's time for us now to be our, the leaders in government. There are so many of us running from coast to coast and north to south, across the nation, ready to set the, the policy coming from Washington, D.C. straight and in accordance with the intentions of the Founding Fathers who created this nation. But more importantly, at a local level, we need to be focused on what's going on in our homes. Many of us are living with husbands, fathers, brothers who are out of work. Some of us ourselves who are professionals or perhaps uh, providing for ourselves, we're out of work or we're in fear of that. We have to do something about this economy. We need to make sure that taxes are reduced so that government gets out of the way of business. We need a free market where competition drives costs down. And we need to have choices for ourselves and for our families about which products and services we would like. This is going to make employers more profitable and able to offer more jobs. This concept has never been fully taken advantage of. We've put some of it into our policies, but we've always let regulation and overtaxation get in the way. I think it's time to really vet that free market system. I think we can stimulate this economy. The only way an economy fails is if it stops. And ladies, you and I both know that compromise and networking and discussion about issues in a true sense, a true and honest sense, is the only way to provide solutions to these problems. And we know best how to do that. It's in our nature. You know, there's another important issue that's facing us. It's that health care issue. You know, as a mother, a wife, a daughter, I'm charged, as you are, with the care of my family, my children, my husband, my mother, because my father is now deceased. I want to care for my family in the best way possible. I know that there will be times when they need medical treatment. And I certainly want to choose an insurance policy or help them choose an insurance policy that's going to provide them access to doctors who have the expertise to cure them of whatever ails them. I will not permit, nor should you permit, anybody to get between me and my family when it comes time to, to provide medical treatment for them. I don't want anyone, and that includes the government, to dictate what doctors or what treatments or medicines my family has access to. And I believe the present health care law has done that. It has taken away my opportunity to direct the care and treatment of the family members that I'm responsible for. As women and as leaders in our family, the nurturers who care for our family members, we as women cannot permit this. We have got to stand up for our families. We have to make sure that this health care law is not allowed to persist. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a representative in Washington right now. I want to tell you here in my home, from my home to yours, that it's very important that we change this representation. This person does not identify with the way we lead our lives. We are middle class Americans, we're hard working professionals. We sacrifice so that our families can do well, so that our children can have a better future. I believe that our present representative does not understand this and he is out of touch with the way we lead our lives. I'm asking you, woman to woman, family to family, to please give me the opportunity to, sh to be our voice in Washington, to show Washington that we can solve these problems in a practical, common sense manner, and that we, as the people of District 6, have the intelligence and the knowledge necessary to run our own lives, and that what we truly need is representatives who will listen to us and bring our voice to Washington. It's been nice having a cup of tea with you this morning. I hope that you'll consider what I've said, and I look forward to your comments and your emails in response to this. We need to work together. It's time to set our government straight, to restore our government to the will and direction of the people, and it would be my honor to serve you as your representative as we accomplish this goal. Have a great day, everyone, and please enjoy your cup of tea. Thank you.